Have you ever pondered over what single event could have changed the course of an entire nation's history? Could a single battle determine the fate of an entire empire? Welcome to the story of the Battle of Sekigahara, a decisive moment that forever altered the landscape of Japan. Our tale begins in the year 1598, at the dawn of the Edo period. A country divided, Japan was a land of numerous feudal lords, each vying for power and control. At the heart of this turmoil was the ambitious daimyo Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who sought to unify Japan under his rule. However, his sudden death left a power vacuum, setting the stage for a decisive confrontation. Two formidable figures emerged from this chaos, each eager to seize control. Ishida Mitsunari, loyal to the Toyotomi clan, and Tokugawa Ieyasu, an ambitious daimyo with his eyes set on the shogunate. Their rivalry culminated in the Battle of Sekigahara, a clash that would decide the future of Japan. On the 21st of October in the year 1600, armies from across the country converged on the plains of Sekigahara. The stage was set. The eastern army of Tokugawa Ieyasu comprised of approximately 75,000 men, while Ishida Mitsunari's western army was made up of 88,000 warriors. Despite being outnumbered, Tokugawa held a significant advantage, a network of alliances and the loyalty of key generals. As dawn broke, the battle commenced. The fog, thick and heavy, blanketed the battlefield, making visibility a challenge. The Western Army appeared to have the upper hand initially, pushing back the Eastern forces, but the tide of battle was about to change. Kobayakawa Hideaki, a key general in Mitsunari's ranks, had secretly pledged loyalty to Tokugawa. At a crucial moment in the battle, Hideaki turned against his own, leading his troops to attack the Western Army. This act of betrayal tipped the scales in favor of Tokugawa, triggering a wave of defections and leading to the ultimate collapse of the Western Army. By the end of the day, the battlefield was littered with the fallen, and the Battle of Sekigahara was over. Tokugawa Ieyasu emerged victorious, setting the stage for the Tokugawa Shogunate, a dynasty that would rule Japan for over 250 years. In conclusion, the Battle of Sekigahara was a pivotal moment in Japanese history. It marked the end of the Sengoku, or Warring States period, and the beginning of the Edo period, a time of relative peace and stability. The battle showcased the cunning and strategic brilliance of Tokugawa Ieyasu, whose victory at Sekigahara laid the foundation for his family's long-lasting reign as shoguns. It's a tale of power, betrayal and ambition, a story that highlights the thin line between victory and defeat. The Battle of Sekigahara serves as a reminder that sometimes a single day can change the course of history. And so ends our tale about the Battle of Sekigahara. If you like to see more about samurai and life in feudal Japan, please subscribe to our Samurai Odyssey YouTube channel. And until next time, sayonara.